and we're back. We need to go somewhere. I believe. Okay, let's go. Where are we going, Sam? Back to the office. Shotgun! Ah, Sybil. Been up any titillating scandal mags lately? No. One of the guys. Make sure something. It's Sybil's carbon dating machine. Don't touch that, fellas. It's the only thing keeping me in business. Hi, Sybil. How are things in the world of computer-generated romance? Oh, I'm not doing that anymore. Can you believe that guy? Never mentioning that he was married? Men are such self-centered jerks. Preach it, girlfriend! So you changed careers again? Yeah. Now I'm running a dating service. Um, come again? A carbon dating service. I bought this astoundingly useful machine that tells me how old things are. I usually just cut them in half and count the rings. There's a reason you're not invited to birthday parties anymore. I wanted a fresh start in a new career to get my mind off that fiasco with Honest Abe. This wasn't my first choice, but I got a good deal on the carbon dating equipment online, and I couldn't afford to change my sign. You're having financial problems? I'm afraid so. After my public humiliation with Lincoln, all the applicants for my dating service demanded their money back. Not to mention all the money tied up in pending litigation with the clients who watched Max's dating video. I stated very clearly up front that viewer discretion was advised. Believe me, I would love to just close up shop for a while and take a vacation. Forget about Honest Dave and all the lawsuits. It was a wardrobe malfunction! But unless I get a major windfall, I have to hope the carbon dating business takes off. How does carbon dating work? I don't know. Something about carbon-14 and half-lives and radiation. I'm impressed with your detailed scientific knowledge. Very professional. That's the beauty of it. I don't really need to know anything. I just aim my little machine at something and it tells me how old it is. Allow me to demonstrate. This tiki is... Oh my gosh! It's... it's 2,000 years old! This is fantastic! Old is good? Absolutely! I can have my office put on the National Register of Historic Places! I might even get a grant! I'd be rich! Can we borrow your carbon dating machine? No way! That machine is still my only chance to take care of my money problems. Unless I get a grant, since I'm now on the National Register of Historic Places, there's no way I'm letting it out of my sight. See you around, Sybil. I'm not sure how we give her the money she needs. Where are we going, Sam? We're off to the White House. Oh boy! Oh boy.
Hey, look, Max. It's the presidential discretionary budget. You have one hundred dollars however you want. What a delightfully random and convenient figure. Hey, look, Max. Allocate how... What a delightfully random and convenient figure. Where are we going, Sam? Back to the office. Shotgun! Hmm, Sybil left the door unlocked. She's probably living it up on some tropical island on the taxpayer's dime. I bet she's getting abducted in some sleazy nightclub, then sold into a white slavery ring, forced to do unspeakable things for a power-mad despot, before narrowly escaping his volcano-top lair with only one of her kidneys left. Don't be such a pessimist, Max. Sorry, Sam. It's just no fair. We're stuck here working, and she gets to have all the fun. That's funny. It's Sybil's carbon dating machine. Now we need to take that to Bosco's. Well, Bosco, by my readings, these weenies date from the early Cretaceous period. Uh, da! Special bargain for you! Still tasty, half of today only. You don't understand. Your store is now a national historic place. These weenies are valuable artifacts. Really? I mean, uh, of course! In preserving heritage of my people. Just how valuable are we talking about here? We'll get back to you on that. Now we need to go back and mark off his place and then get the chicken star from him. And then we need to give it to Wizard. Where so that he, you know, sings. We're off to the White House. Oh boy! Then we gotta stop Lincoln. It's just a bunch of roundabout things to do just to stop Lincoln. What a delightfully random and convenient figure. The soda poppers aren't the close-knit band they used to be. They're just one inappropriate comment away from full-on violence. Just like you and me, pal. I'm glad we took this time to talk, Max. Keep in touch, Sam. I mean that. Where are we going, Sam? Back to the office. Shotgun!
Hello, Conrad Bosco. Hail to the chief. I don't know how you guys did it, but I just got a huge check from the government. You earned it, Bosco. It's not easy to perfectly preserve weenies that predate the discovery of fire. Not to mention the teeming microcosm growing in the bathroom. We're considering making it a national wildlife preserve. Now I can finally finish my satellite defense. So we can have the truth serum? Sure. Let me dig it up from the lab. This is a bottle of vodka. What the products? Trust me, trust me. Get a couple of shots of that in somebody, and they'll tell you all their secrets. Thanks, Bosco. Unbelievable. Where are we going, Sam? We're off to the White House. Oh boy! To start a war. more kick than the other ones. Thanks, I'm a match. You guys, you guys are my best friends. Now can we get back to the deliberation? What's the point? You still think Peeper's idea is stupid. Stupid? You never told me you thought my idea was stupid. He said your idea of adding Herbert Hoover hugging the four other presidents was the Stupidest thing he'd ever heard! Well, it is! Hoover wasn't even a president, which means he certainly wasn't the most loving of all the presidents. Well, at least I didn't suggest putting a parking garage in George Washington's forehead, like some four-eyed freaks I know. You little... You big... Of course you realize this means war! 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 What's this I hear? What wondrous thing is this the deaf con collections ring? A flashing light. Above the door, there's just one thing it could mean. War. Oh, what is it good for? What is it good it's for? good for you. Good for you. It's good for me. Oh, war. What is it good for? What is it good for? Dragon's economy. It shows the world.
good for you. It's good, good for you. It's good for me. Oh, what is it good for? Oh, it's strengthened you. It Well, let's not do that again. Wow. <laughs> we'll be back, guys. <laughs> <laughs>